Are we going to uh, see uh, uh, the development, do you think, of nuclear power plants in large commercial vessels? Is this really something we'll see in the next 10 or 20 years? Yes, I think so, because presently those vessels drive on, on oil. Yes, uh, diesel. Yeah, yeah diesel. Yeah. And, and uh, it's, a, it's, it's a cheap solution. It is not envi environmentally friendly. A lot of the problem of pollution of the oceans, of the emissions at sea, uh, are coming from you know fishing fleets and other mm -hmm. uh, kind of, of, of craft. Albeit the pollution is a big problem, of course, in port, when the vessel is manoeuvring in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific, it's not so significant. So, yes, we're going to have to deal with that question, yeah. but to get the shipyards in South Korea, potentially China, certainly Germany, certainly Italy with Finn Cantieri. Do we actually see them investing in nuclear power? That no, I understand because it is more expensive than just uh, oil. It is more expensive. You should make this reactor to make it complete, to, co to, to make it safe, build it in. You have to take care of the radiation fields uh, to, 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 to shield. So it's a money question. Today, I mean, if you see the progression of bunker costs and diesel costs mm -hmm. yeah. over the last years, there might be a break even at some point in time. Mm. Use of nuclear uh, reactors in ships uh, has been tried out and they stopped it uh, after 10 years or so. Too costly. Too costly. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the different thing, the high power density reactors were developed for nuclear submarines military things and uh, then money is not very important or not so important. Well actually in the UK it's very very important uh, because we've got the in the United Kingdom we've got the four uh, uh, Trident submarines which are nuclear reactors and nuclear weapons yeah. uh, and they will be replaced by the new dreadnought class. Now I suppose they will be the high power density yeah. uh, systems but the technology is, is, is obviously amazing, and I suppose the, the British are still a ahead of the game in, in that respect. But the key point, though, is the public purse is saying we shouldn't be spending it on these questions in some cases, yeah. uh, and we've got this horrible debate. Uh, so the society's got to make up its mind uh, what its priorities are going to be. Yeah. Um, is it climate change? Is it defense spending? What is it? You know, where is the priority? Yeah. You know, are we going <coughs> to use batteries to run ships? That's another option. So I'm not quite sure where all this debate is going to end up. Yeah, I mean, the question of cost is, of course, a relevant one, alongside with the reputation on, on things. Um, for sure, the, the beauty, if I may say so, about nuclear power is that there are no emissions uh, no, no generation of greenhouse gases, and that is nowadays a big issue. We need to find solutions for energy uh, production free of CO2 or other greenhouse yeah. gas emissions. Yeah. Greenhouse gases. Yeah. People use these terms. Yeah. What does it actually mean? What is greenhouse gas? What is a greenhouse? That's where the sun can shine through glass, right. and then it heats up the house, right. and then the, the heat of the house cannot easily get back because glass stops the infrared, which is heat. Right. Energy from the sun, the, sun, the sunlight comes in, right. heats the earth, right. and how does this heat is radiated away? Uh, not completely possible, right. because the earth at the temperature of 10, 20 degrees Celsius, emits, emits the heat mm -hmm. at a certain wavelength. Mm -hmm. So the, the solar light mm -hmm. we see now today mm -hmm. has a wavelength of 0.5 right. micrometer. Okay. Yeah? Right. Right. And it radiates the heat mm -hmm. at a roughly at 10 micrometer, right. 20 times longer wavelength. That's the, the wavelength of the, the heat. Right. And at that wavelength, the uh, up atmosphere is a bit open. Right. But when you stop the, 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 the window at, right. at 10 micrometers, the Earth will heat up. So the, 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 the greenhouse effect of the Earth as a planet, as a whole system, 
depends on a window around a wavelength of 10 micrometers. And when we add greenhouse gases, right. it, it is partly blocked. That changes the climate system. We have seen many things in recent years that the change of the climate is driven by the fact that the atmosphere is heating up. And it is not just CO2, may I add it immediately, yeah. we also have to speak about methane, CH4. Well, well, let's come to methane in a minute. So you're saying, I think, climate change is absolutely real, this whole greenhouse gas issue is, it, is, is absolutely fundamental. It is true and it has been well studied by many, many, many people. Every scientist has to believe them. It's not politics. It's, it's measured, it's calculated. It's there. So it's absolutely real. So, yeah. so politicians can be just ignoring it and hoping the problem goes away. Yeah. Mm. Or saying all the scientists are mad. And they, they, right. they fool us. Yeah. Well, I can only talk about the company I'm re representing, Mars. Uh, our, our strategy with regards to sustainability is that we want to be CO2 neutral within one generation. So the program started in 2008. We are now 10 years in the program. We see a reduction of, of uh, our emissions, of our CO2 footprint. And what we do in order to compensate, because with our operation we will never be zero, we're investing heavily into wind parks. Not by burning hydrocarbons. Not That's the, by burning The source of the CO2 is burning hydrocarbons. Yeah. Yeah. And that now is public enemy number one. It is not. No, it should be. That's the answer. Mm -hmm.